Well, a new government report finds health care costs are set to skyrocket come 2014 if most of Obamacare takes effect. That's according to the U.S. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, a.k.a. Uncle Sam. Here to weigh in, Dr. Sridhar Podoratsu, CEO of Vital Springs Technologies. I'm going to call you Dr. P because it's easier, Sridhar, okay? Sounds good. <laughs> All right. So what do you make of these results? Is it true that Obamacare is going to escalate the cost of health care in this country? Yes, absolutely, Jerry. I mean, the government keeps sinking in their own quicksand with this health law that, of course, the costs are going to go up. We heard this week that in preparation, if the Supreme Court throws out the mandate, they may not cover a lot of the things that they're supposed to, that they promised that they were going to. More people are not accessing the health care system today that are not getting the care that they need. So you have sicker people that are waiting on the sidelines that will ultimately end up in the doctor's offices and the emergency rooms. And of course, health care costs are going to go up and probably even more than what this government report alludes to. But sweetheart, isn't it going to what's going to happen here is that people who get kicked off of employer plans because they can't afford them anymore. It's cheaper for them just to pay the fine. Uh, if, if Obamacare stays in force and and others are forced to fend for themselves, aren't we going to have a situation where spending could actually go up, not down? It's going to be a train wreck, because if you follow through on what you just said, with about 30 percent of employers saying, look, we're not going to participate. Let's let our employees go find insurance in the exchanges. The ex there's about half of the states right now that have not even started setting up these exchanges. So what happens is you have all of these employees that are need, going to need to find insurance that can't find it, that aren't going to go see the doctor because they don't have insurance. So you're setting up an entire mechanism because these costs are going to go up because people aren't getting the care that they need. And we've promised them how many times, Jerry, that, look, you can keep the coverage that you're going to That's have. Right. You can keep the doctor that you're going to have. My God, we have been so dishonest to the American people that none of those things are happening, and they're going to pay so much more. All right. Uh, you believe that uh, the Supreme Court could overturn at least the individual mandate. What would they leave in place, and what would that mean? How does that work? So I think between tomorrow and next Friday, we're going to hear from the Supreme Court. My prediction is I might be wrong that they're going to overturn the mandate, but leave other components of the law in place. What that means is that you unravel the economics of how we've paid for this law. And again, this is why the Uniteds, the Aetna, the Cygnus stepped up this week and said, whoa, wait a minute. We said that we would step up that we would take on the dependents, that we would allow for people with pre-existing conditions, but they've already placed the bet. They've already spent right. a lot of that money, True. and they're scrambling right now. I mean, you and I talked about this, you know, in front of the Supreme Court not too long ago, and they're in panic mode about what's going to happen in the next week if the mandate gets thrown out, because all of that is going to get pushed back on employers, all of it is going to get pushed back on consumers. And guess what? All of the costs are going up. Nothing is going down. Well, I wish you had brought us some good news, sweetheart. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Hey, I look forward to talking to you as this uh, Obamacare decision when it comes down. Hope to see you again I do soon. Too. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.